Welcome to Get Your Garden Growing. My name is Sandra Lawson and I'll be your host today. And we have a marvelous experience ahead of us. We're at the Garden City Children's Center in Beverly and we have a classroom of four and five year old kids. And we're gonna talk about gardening with them and actually plant a pot or pot a plant, whichever. So with that, let me begin. So for today's program, we have an assistant and we have a guest. And our guest is Billie Jean Sherrod. <laughs> and she is a preschool teacher here at the Garden City Children's Center. And this is her class that you're going to be watching shortly. Just let me ask you, Billie Jean, I, I think it's so impressive to be teaching gardening to this age group. What were your goals for today? Our goals always with all of our kids is to, the first thing is to just be good people, good little people, you know, they're, they're still learning, but they, for gardening, it's their science, it's their math, it's geography, it's literacy, but it also teaches them self-confidence, responsibility of taking care of something, and another thing we talk about all the time in our classroom is taking care of things that are much bigger than you and smaller than you, mm -hmm. just to enforce that this is your world forever, yes. and so it's time to take care of it, and this is the best age to start. And I think you've already done a great job building up to today with your lessons. Oh, last week was worms and soil, so they worms were Worms and soil, Yeah, great. that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> so what are the psychosocial needs that children of this age group You know, have? they, there's, there's a lot that they, I feel like that they require for their um, social and emotional needs, but that's why we focus a lot on responsibility mm -hmm. and taking care of self, taking care of earth, taking mm -hmm. care of each other. Okay. And they're also incredibly curious at this age. Very. They love playing in the dirt. They love it. They love digging for worms. They, we found a, what was it, a woolly bear caterpillar oh, yesterday. Yes. yes. You know, it was all fun until it crawls up your sleeve. Yes. But, uh, and you it was can't find it. Yeah. <laughs> all we found. <laughs> so, yeah, they, uh, they're, they're a very curious bunch, yeah. and it goes with the age, but they're a special group. They're really fantastic. And they want to be accomplished, and this is in such a pleasant, joyful way Absolutely. Of, of them experiencing Absolutely. It's the, the confidence of not only not knowing whether they can grow something, but when they do, to see it come to fruition, yeah. to say, that's mine. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to have them pot pansies. Yes. Which are already in bloom, and mm -hmm. they will see that growing. Right. But we also have some nasturtium seeds. Oh, that that'll they will fun. put into their pots, and so this new layer of greenage and flowers so, will emerge. Oh, nice! They'll, they'll find that exciting, and they'll, they'll think, "Oh my gosh, look what I've done!" Yeah, yes. and that and that's special for them. It's yeah. special for them to see something they've done on their own. So, thank you so much thank for you. having us thank today. Thank you so much. Thanks for they have been excited. You know that. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> and Marcy, Marcy Ricker is a landscape designer and also has a master's in elementary school education. And Marcy, why was today important for you? I love watching children realize the magic of nature and to see that how it suddenly occurs to them is worthwhile. Yes, yes. And it is, and hopefully they embrace that and take it with them throughout their lives. Right, yes. Well, it would be nice if many adults could realize the importance of nature as well. So we start early, and we hope that it sticks with us. Yes, yes. Well, let's see what happens. All right. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you. Marcy is going to help us, and I think she wants you to stand. So this plant is a pansy, and it's no longer in a pot. Do you know what all these white things are? Can you see that? What is it? Do you know what they are? Someone tell me. What? Seeds. No, this, this whole plant comes from one seed. So the seed has already gone by. What? Roots. Roots, yes. And you, so you're standing. What are your feet doing? Standing. They're standing there. They're sort of rooting you to the ground, right? That's what the plant's roots do. It holds it in place so the wind doesn't blow it down the street out of your garden. The or roots... It won't tip over. Yeah, yeah. Think of what would happen if trees didn't have roots. 
how big they are, oh my gosh, they'd crash and destroy everything. So the storm oh, or fall down if there's a really big storm. Yes, sometimes they, they do. It, it, they do knock your house right down to the ground. Yes, we hope yes, that it, could it can happen. Oh, so let me, first of all, I'm going to ask just one person talk at a time, okay? Marcy is going to give you something, and it's going to demonstrate, it's going to show you what else the roots do besides anchoring the plant in place. They're very tricky. They're very special. Do you know what that is? Do you know what it is? What is this? Have you ever used these before? What's Marcy handing you? What is this? A straw. a straw, yes. What do you do with a straw? So if you put the straw in your mouth and you suck on it, what happens? Air comes out, yes. And that's what the roots on the plant do. So suck on your straw and what happens? Bring it in. You get, you get air, right? If you did that in the swimming pool, what would you get? Uh -oh. Bubbles. Bubbles. No. No, if no. you suck it in. Water. Yes, yeah. you'd get water from the pool in your mouth. And that's what the roots do. That's right. The roots hold it in place. The roots also um, take the water up into the plants. And do you know what vitamins and minerals are? Do you take vitamins and minerals? Yes. I take vitamins. Okay. Well, minerals are often with the vitamins, and the plant roots also bring the minerals into the plant. Okay. The next thing is, what is this green part called? The stem. The stem. And if we look at your body, what does... What part of your body is like the stem? What part of your head? Your head. No, that's, head. that's at the very top. Your legs. Your, um, your legs. Your legs and your body, which is sometimes called the trunk. And you know a trunk of a tree, right? Sometimes this part of the body is called the trunk. And that holds the tree straight up. It holds the plant up. It holds your body up, right? Yeah? So then what are these things? These little flappers? Leaves. Leaves. And what do the leaves do? What do leaves do? Remember when we were on our plant? Remember? Blow. No. They, they do blow in the wind. That's well, true. Oh, that's okay. Not... I thought you meant like... <sighs> <laughs> so they do f move in the wind. Yep. And that movement in the wind helps them be stronger in their stem. But what function? Where does the plant get its food? What do they collect? Water. Sun. Sun. So the sun shines down on these leaves. And you know why they're green? They have, it's a big word, chlorophyll. They have chlorophyll in them. The sun stimulates the chlorophyll and that's how the plant makes food. It needs the water and it needs the minerals from the roots, but it's the sun and the chlorophyll that actually make the food. Yes? Does it come out? Does it come out? Mm, they keep their food inside and grow. That's what helps them to grow. Is that what you mean? Does the chlorophyll okay. come out? Okay. Oh. The chlorophyll stays in the plant, but in the fall, when everything sorts of dries up and turns brown, the chloroform's gone. chlorophyll is gone. It's only while it's green that it has this chlorophyll in it. And what is this part? The flower. The flower. And what does the flower do? Whoops. What does the flower do? The flower is... It grows. It does grow. The whole thing hopefully will grow, right? Do you know what else the flower does? Someone else over here? What? Um, it will, it, it can suck 
sometime go up and travel up like a a tree, sometimes a vine goes around a tree or up a trellis, yep. But the flower makes the seed. So to get new flowers, new plants, you have to save the seed yeah. and plant it in the spring and it will make more plants. And do you remember who comes and visits the flower and steps on it and jumps from one to another? The bee. That's right. Who else does another? And butterflies yes. too, all kinds of insects. And sometimes caterpillars. Oh, caterpillars. Um, the bees take the pollen out of the flowers. So this is one kind or one way a plant can make a seed is by the flower. Here's another way. Who knows what a green bean looks like? Or a snap pea? Can you describe a snap pea to me? Can you describe a snap pea to me? Um, it looks like a line that has bumps in it. Yes, and it's a pod. So I'm going to take two of these. I'm going to give this to you. If you take one and pass the rest along, okay? Take them all, and then just keep one for yourself and give the rest of them. There you go. So a pea pod or a bean, a green bean, has a pod like this, okay? This is an exceptionally long pod. And in the fall, it cracks open and the seeds scatter so that in the spring, it can make new seeds, new plants. Did you? Sometimes you see them hanging from the tree, and they're really long. I saw it on the house. And you may keep these, and you can take them home and show your parents, your family, okay? These are, think of them like a green bean that has a pod that breaks open. I'm going to show you another kind, though. And actually, Marcy, maybe you want to pass those out. And then I'll tell you the story of the pussy willow. They're sort of like a tail too, aren't they? Yeah, they're like a tail. <laughs> I don't know how you'd attach it, but you can tape it. Tape it. Good idea. And glue it. <laughs> and then you could hop along as a horse. Or you could be a bunny. Thank you. So, Marcy, if I could just have one of those. And then I could share them and pass them. Oh, there's plenty. I think I had 15. So, this little thing that you have here. Do you see at the end it dangles and it moves? Okay. It's just a branch. Here, I'll share mine with you. See this? It's called a catkin. That little thing that's dangling off the end is a catkin. And it's soft, but it's a seed pod that's not inside a case. It just dangles from the end of the branch. And that will make more birch trees because it's from the birch tree. So there's all different kinds of seeds, right? The kinds that are in the center of the flower, the kinds that are in the pods, the kind, the catkin kind that's at the end of a branch. So we have one more thing to pass out to you before we pot our plants. I'll do this side here. So here's a pussy willow for you, and a pussy willow for you, and a pussy willow for you, and there's more coming. So everyone knows what this is, right? Yeah, you do. You have your hands full. Who can tell me what this is? Anyone over here? What is this? What is that called? Does anyone have that growing in the yard? I have it. Well, that's the one on my porch. What is it? What is it called? Do you know? Pussy willows. Pussy willows. Who said that? 
pussy yes, willow. Yes, it's a pussy willow. And do you know how the pussy willow got its name? I wonder how it got its name. Let me tell you. It's a cute story. But some kittens fell into the water in this creek. And they didn't know how to swim very well yet. And there was no one to rescue them. But they saw a branch of a willow tree laying on top of the water. And they swam over to this branch and they all hugged it and clung on to it. And that's why we call it a, a pussy willow. That each of these is a little kitten. And they're awfully soft if you rub your face with them. Yeah, it's a willow tree that has these soft little furry kittens. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, I think, is to pot your plant. Can I tell them the story about yes. this plant? Yes, yes. This plant is called a pansy, and that's the type that you're going to be planting today. Do you, anybody see a little face in the pansy? Does it look like that might be the mouth and the eyes? Yeah. Do you see the face? Oh, yeah, here's the face. Isn't that so pretty? Do you see the face? So in a faraway place called Scotland, there's actually a folk story all about this plant. And it's called the stepmother plant. Does anybody remember any fairy tales about a stepmother? Cinderella. Cinderella, that's right. And her two stepsisters, did they have beautiful, beautiful outfits on? Did Cinderella have a pretty outfit on? No, not in the beginning. So this is the stepmother plant. And this is the stepmother, the nice, big, beautiful purple one. And the two petals on each side are the stepsisters. And poor Cinderella's up here, and she has no beautiful outfit on. So that's a story from Scotland. And this is Cinderella up here. She has no beautiful outfit. Just the stepsisters and the stepmother. So they call it the stepmother plant. A pansy. So how about if we plant your own plant? Want to do that? So should we come around this table? Turn your pots over. And on every table, there's a container of leaves. And I want you to take some and push it down in the bottom so all these holes are covered. And that keeps the dirt inside when you water it, but it lets the extra water still run out. So take some leaves. Whoa, that's too many. <laughs> you won't have room for your plant. <laughs> yeah. Good. Let's bring this over here. Sure. Wait a minute. You want to take some? Sure. And stuff it in there. So you know that a plant in a pot has to have extra water. Because it can't get water from the ground. No, you know, just a little bit, she said. Just, mm -hmm. to holes. just enough to cover up all the holes. Okay? Did you get some? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So now we want to put in some dirt. Is it easier if you stand to do this? Yeah. Because it'll bring it over a little bit. Yep. Okay, wait a minute before you add more. Let's see. Do this to it, and that taps it down. I think you have enough in there. You have enough? Because we're going to put more in in a little bit. Uh, you need a little more. You have plenty, yes. This is good. Here, let's do this. Wait a minute. Let's do this. Now, see if that's enough. Can you get that? Okay. And tap it down. 
Tap it down. I think you need a little bit more. Let's see how yours is. Oh, that's good. One more scoopful. Me? Um, yes, both of you. Yeah. One more spoonful. So now I'm going to give you a plant. Here's one thing we want to do, is at the bottom, just tease apart the roots a little bit, like that, okay? And put it in the middle of your pot. Oh, you have dirt in your nose. <laughs> Whoops, there you go. So put that in the middle of your pot. Don't, don't tear it, just pull it. I put it. Okay, there you go. Let me get some more. Yes, just a moment. Sure. Just pull a part of the very bottom, the, the roots. Who doesn't have one? Okay. And remember, pull apart the bottom. So the, yes, this is perfect. This is what you want to do. See how this one over there? Perfect, Camille. Perfect. Well, I got two flowers. Yeah, and there's another one starting. Look at this one. It's just a bud. Yes. Yeah. Three, four, five, six. Wow. So now the next part. Well, I got a baby one. The next part is a little tedious. You see that this is floating around in this pot? We don't want that to happen, so we have to put a little dirt down one side, then the next, and then all four sides. Okay? Let's, let me help. So those roots can work. Oh, don't, don't squish it, okay? We want just light, because plants need air, too. Um, let's put some more in there. Yep. And then you're going to put it this way and put a little here. How's it going? Wait a minute, let's see where it needs it. Oh, just a little in there. Okay. How, oh, right there. You do it the way you want. So I'm going to borrow... Oh, just a moment. Let me look. I want to get some more of this off the table because you're going to need it. Okay, let's see. Oh, it needs a little here. Okay. I put a little more in it. Oh, wait a minute. I did. There you go. Nice, Molly. I like the uh, one is starting to Put that over yeah. there. And do you have some on this side? Do you remember what they're called? What kind of flowers they are? Who remembers the name? Just a little bit in there. Good job. Yep. There you go. Okay. So when you have all your dirt in, you need to put some dirt around yours. Do you need help? Let's get some dirt and push it in on the side. See How's how yours? All this space right here? This is my Look at how well good. It all up. Good. So those of you who are done with this part, yes, we have some. We're going to put some seeds in here. You're just going to poke them in, and then another plant is going to grow out of that. And it's called a nasturtium. And you can eat the flowers and the leaves in a salad. It makes a beautiful salad. I love salad. Oh, good. I love salad without chicken. Oh, okay. salad with dressing. Yeah, what kind? I forget what it is. Is it? I'm not going to eat mine. I'm going to plant mine. Um, your nasturtium seeds, yep, because then it will make a plant. I want to wait till that one grows. Oh, that's okay. Yep. 
And that gets all the dirt in there. How many seeds are each getting? Four. One for each corner. Do you have enough? Yeah. Everyone had a, Okay. So now, I'm going to give you four seeds, but I'm going to put them on the table. And you can take one and put one in each corner. Okay, one seed in each corner. Can I help you push yours down a little bit? Why don't you put your hand out for me? Oh. Wow. I'll get it. One more. I hope the animals don't, um, don't eat it in the woods. Oh, I hope they don't too. I never, I never planted any. One, two, three. One more. I never planted any. Now, don't push them too far down, but push them a little bit. just a little bit more than that. Who doesn't have any? You didn't say that to me. Is that four? Did you get seeds? Did you get seeds? Do you have more seeds? Oh, here they are. You gave them to me. Here you go. Put it and then you'll need it to cover Okay. Now make sure you put a little more dirt in to cover the seeds, okay? Did everyone get seeds? Yes. Don't eat them. Just put them in one in each corner. Did everyone get seeds? And then can you put a little more dirt on top of their seeds? Oh, good. Good. Sometimes it's hard to work with gloves on, isn't it? Oh, right here. Yep. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. And then push it down and maybe put yes. a And now, because we've been working with them, some of them look a bit droopy, don't they? They might need a little water. Yeah, I think so. We have some water in the cans. Yeah, let's get the water down. But I have to have a chili spray on the water. Yes. Okay. So you're going to do some sprays? Oh, spraying might be better. Mine is a little droopy. Yeah, that one's spray. Do you have another spray bottle? I have the two watering cans right here. Okay. Oh, okay. Is the water in them? Yes. Mine is fairly small. Yes. Okay. So, how about, are you concerned about water getting on the table? No. Okay. How about you put a little water in it? Just leave that. It's your leaf. What you don't want to do is you don't want to get the leaves wet if you can help it. Okay? So put a little water in it around the edges. So she said not really on the leaves. On the if, if it goes on the leaves, sometimes they get infected. Okay. A little over here. Just a little. That's it. Wait a minute. Take it up. And on this side. Great. Okay, and pass it on. Whoops. And it just takes a little bit all around because this this dirt that we put in is really dry, and we want it nice and moist. Did you put some water in yet? Not yet. Okay, why don't we put it down so it doesn't dry? Um, okay. I'm waiting for that. Want too much, okay, that's gonna hurt. okay, the watering can will be better. Mine is wet. Water the roots. Water the roots. It looks like a goldfish. Drinks up. No, we can use this too. Let's do this. Go slow. Remember, we use I can't hear you. Yes, you'll have a garden right there. Because you'll have nasturtiums. Remember, you can eat the petals. And you can eat the flowers. And you'll have pansies. I think you did, right? You don't want it too wet. Then maybe add a little bit more. Did everybody get Grace's He did, yes. No, Kaya asked well, just watch it. It might drip out, and you don't want to step on that. So, one last thing to know about your plants when this flower dies, 
What's what? You just pinch it off. Oh, this was a tag. Tell me what kind of a plant it is. Because, because it won't grow again. Well, what happens, it will try to make seeds if you leave it on. And you want this plant to get big and thick with lots of flowers. And then towards the end of the season, if you want the seeds, then you don't pick it off anymore. But until, until it's August anyways, you want to pick off the dead ones so we'll make new flowers. But those aren't dead yet. Yeah, yours looks quite chipper. It's standing up straight. Well, do you have any questions? No questions? Yes. I like that the flowers in the inside is kind of purple and the outside is kind of pink. Yes. And did you see the face in it? Look, it's starting to grow. So these are the eyes and here and here's the mouth. Like the little yellow one there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe some of them they all look different, right? Just like people? Yeah, we see You don't have it because you don't have it. So when it dies, just pick the flower off, okay? And more will come. But we just put water, so it will perk up. Right, give it a, let us see, let's see what it does with some sunshine and water. And then, you know, tomorrow, maybe you have to take it off. But let's give it a chance, okay? Now, how does sunshine? How does what? The window. Okay. Time to be quiet. So that's the show for today. If you have any questions, you can watch it three times a week, Monday at 10.30, Wednesdays at 4.30, and Fridays at 5.30, Channel 8. And watch it as many times as you want because it'll be there all month. If you have more questions, just shoot me an email with growitwithsandra at gmail.com. Thanks so much for being with us today. We've had fun.